so what we've got here is the Pteranocus Murinus Kigoma. Now, she laid all this right, which uh, it looks very, very, very similar to when she laid an egg sac. So she may have double dropped. I can't really see. I tried to shine a light in. It's really super thick. You can see her. Oh, I hit the thing. Sorry. You can see her. She's here. And she molted over this side where my finger is. I want to like that. Obviously, I'm watching my fingers get bitten by this bugger. Uh, so she molted over this side, and then as soon as she's molted, she's come straight back, and she's just guarding, guarding this bit beer again. Um, so I want to uh, remove her, and then I want to take a look inside that, just to see whether uh, we've there is an egg sac there, hammock, hammock sac or not. More than likely not. I got to be honest, right? but it is always worth a check. And let's see how thick it is now. So as you see, it's this well, I can't put my finger any any nearer than that. I'm afraid. I'll try to shine a light through it. In fact, let's do that now. Okay, it's ready, guys. So what do you think? I think, looking at it, look at that, there's a darker patch. I'm probably wrong. In fact, you know, I'm 99% sure I'm wrong. But, it's always worth a quick investigation, isn't it? So, uh, let's have a quick look at that. This is going to be quite gnarly, I think, as well. Remember what she was like last time? She was mental. Alright guys, so I brought the camera back a long way. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass. I don't know where my, my large tweezers are. Oh. Nightmare. Oh my fuck, what have I done with those? Alright, so, so I need to get her into your or alternatively, if she goes the other way, more than likely she's just going to explode now. Oh, yeah. oh. Alright, please. No, I can't see anything. Hold on. Over to the other side. So I leave her now. So I popped her there. So I'm going to leave her in there. She's not going to be able to get out. So I'm safe to work here. Okay. Remember, everyone, it's always safety first. Okay. I'm going to have a quick rummage around in here. It's very thick, like it would be. It's not though. No, there's nothing here. Well, there was, I think it was, there was at one point, hold on, what's that? No, it's just mud, we'll start in there. Oh, keep it down. I'm not going to take a hide away. Is there anything there? No, okay, so. I know it looks really grim that I've just destroyed her, uh, what she was using. If I stick that maybe back up there. There's definitely nothing there, is there? That's really... No, definitely nothing there. Good. Right, so I'm happy. So uh, she's now molted, so we can look for a meal. Uh, remember, always a good idea while you've got them um, subdued, you know, so uh, safe. Now this is a unusually dry species, but. Uh, I don't the water. No, there we are. So you just a little tiny bit. And then also always, even with 
arid species water dish. Okay guys, cool. A little bit of investigation. And now what I can do is get the lid. Which I got here. Oh, shit my back man. Get the lid and we're going to So we've got the lid there, she's there, Let's see if we can get it down to the bottom. You know what, you could even just like leave that in there and just close the lid. She will then come out of that, but more than likely the species will just web that up. So I want to get it out and I, and I know you can't see very much, but it's safe. Okay, so you can just, just move her out. And there she is, she's out. And once she's away, you can remove it. And place the lid safely back on. And there she goes.